Hi, I'm Alex, the Growth Marketing Manager at Skimlinks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the performance reports that you can access in the Skimlinks Publisher Hub. By the end of this video, you'll be able to access information that will help you craft your content strategy to boost your revenue with Skimlinks. You'll learn how to track your performance by date, merchant, page, link and site, identify your strongest sources of revenue with the revenue source report, and spot your pages and links that are trending with the real-time clicks report. If you have any questions about Skimlinks performance reports, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or, as always, you can also go to support.skimlinks.com for answers. Okay, now let's begin with the video. When you log in to the Publisher Hub, hub.skimlinks.com that is, you'll first see a snapshot of your overall performance. At a glance, you'll see your latest payment, payment breakdown, payment history, as well as your revenue, clicks, top pages, and top merchants from the past 30 days. The last 30 days clicks and revenue charts in the snapshot are a good way to quickly see if your site's performance is going in the right direction. To dive more deeply into your performance, navigate to the Performance tab at the top of the screen, which will launch the Performance by Date report. If you're a publisher with multiple domains, use the Sites drop-down menu to select the relevant domain. Then use the Date selector to filter your results for the relevant time frame. You can filter your results even further by desktop, tablet or mobile. If you publish your content via AMP, you can also filter by AMP content, non-AMP content or both. The chart you can see by default shows how your revenue is evolving, but you can also look at how other metrics are trending by clicking on the other tabs, such as clicks, click-through rate, sales, order value, or impressions. You'll see that your spikes in revenue generally align with your spikes in clicks, sales, and impressions. If you scroll down, you will see a table showing more data, such as conversion rates, CTR, RPM, and EPCs. So what do these all mean? CTR stands for click-through rate, which is the percentage of people who click on your links after seeing them. So the higher the CTR, the better. RPM represents the revenue per 1,000 impressions, and EPC is earnings per click. It is one of, if not the most important metric for Skimlinks publishers, as it takes into account these three key metrics, a merchant's average order value, conversion rate and commission rate. EPC helps you to determine not only the advertisers who will pay you the most, but also which advertisers your readers want to shop from and how much they tend to spend with each retailer, which makes EPC a great indicator of performance. On this table, you can use the day, week or month toggles for more options to read your data and the download button to download a CSV file if you need to extract and manipulate your data as needed. If you want to break down your performance by a particular day, hover over the grey funnel icon next to the relevant date and filter your performance by merchant, page, link, site, device or product. If we filter by merchant, for example, it will automatically take us into the performance by merchant report for that relevant day, week or month. The Performance by Merchant report shows a chart with your top five merchants over this particular time frame that we chose when we were in the previous report. To expand it, simply select the relevant time frame using the Date Selector tool. Just like the Performance by Date report, you can use the tabs in the second navigation bar to look at revenue, clicks, sales, order value, and in this report, EPC instead of impressions, to see how the performance of your top merchants is trending for each of these metrics. In the table beneath the chart, you'll see all the merchants who generated revenue for you in descending order, not just the top five. If you're interested in the performance of a particular merchant, use the search box above the table to populate data for that merchant only. You can also, of course, download and export all of this data in a CSV file. You'll notice that some merchants have a preferred badge beneath their name. Our preferred partners are merchants who have agreed to give high commission rates. We're always encouraging merchants to increase their rates to make sure our publishers get the best results. The Performance by Merchant report is very useful as it shows which merchants your audience is interested in buying from so that you can do more of what works.
By looking at this table below as an example, we can see that most of the revenue for this publisher is coming from this merchant. If you scroll back up to the chart, you can click on that merchant to see how the revenue performance is trending for that merchant. If it's increasing, it could be good to write more content for that merchant. However, it's never good to have all your eggs in one basket because you never know that merchant might decide to pause their affiliate program all of a sudden. For that reason, it's always good to diversify your income sources and keep looking for new opportunities. To do this, you can look at the table below. You'll see a column for EPC, earnings per click. And as I mentioned earlier, EPC is a great metric for publishers as it can show you opportunities to grow your revenue. You can sort merchants by EPC and the merchants with the highest EPCs should definitely be part of your content plan, as in you should write more about them because they will pay you more for each click that you send to them. Looking at EPCs per merchant is also a good way to find out if some merchants are not performing as well as they could. If the EPC of a merchant is low, this could mean either that the conversion rate is low, in which case we can assume that this merchant is probably not a good fit for your audience, or if the commission rate is low, meaning that this merchant is not paying enough commissions to publishers. So what you should do if the EPC of a merchant is low is to find alternatives in merchant search right here. If you can find a merchant with a similar offering and a higher EPC, then you should definitely consider promoting them to your audience. For example, looking at this merchant here, I can see that the EPC is quite low compared to other merchant in the table. In this case, I would look at affiliate programs from other merchants in the same industry that are similar to this merchant, but with a higher, CEP, the higher EPC. We also have a video specifically on merchant search on our YouTube channel, so make sure to check it out for more details on it. If you want to break down your performance by a particular merchant, hover over the grey funnel icon next to the relevant merchant and filter your performance by date, page, link, site, device or product. If we filter by page for example, it will automatically take us into the performance by page report for that specific merchant. The page report breaks down your performance by your own page URLs within the date range selected. With this report, you can see at a glance the impressions, clicks, click-through rate, sales, conversion rate, order value, revenue, revenue per 1,000 impressions, and earnings per click that a particular page has achieved. You can click on the plus button to the left of the URL to see the performance of the individual links within that URL. This is particularly useful if you have an article about, say, 10 amazing shoes to buy in 2020, for example, if the seventh shoe in the list makes a lot of the revenue from that page and has a high EPC, you can use that information to optimize further. You could test placing that shoe in the first position in your article, for instance, and in theory, make even more revenue. Another example of how to use this report is to identify types of articles that are working and make more of them. Let's keep the example of 10 amazing shoes to buy in 2020. If that article is in your top performers, you could then try writing about 10 amazing sandals to buy in 2020 to explore the shoe category even further. Or to explore new topics, you could try and replicate your success with a post on 10 amazing bags to buy in 2020, etc, etc. Just remember to keep testing new content regularly and use the data in this report to increase your amount of revenue generating articles. Now, if you want to break down your performance by a particular page, hover over the gray funnel icon next to the relevant page and filter your performance by date, merchant or link. If we filter by link, for example, it will automatically take us into the performance by link report for that specific page. The link report breaks down your performance by links within the date range selected in the top filter. It's worth remembering that the sales, order value and revenue that are attributed to a particular link may not actually be because your reader purchased that item, but rather that they clicked on that link and then went on to purchase something else from that retailer's site. It's also worth noting that if someone clicks on your link to a retailer's site and purchases that product in addition to a number of other products from that retailer, then you will earn commission on the full basket of items bought not just a product in the link that you published. Just like the rest of the reports we've looked at so far, the table is organized by revenue descending and the data is refreshed every 24 hours. 
Again, if you want to break down your performance by a particular site or domain, hover over the grey funnel icon next to the relevant link and filter your performance by date, page or site. Now, let's look at the site report. The site report breaks down your performance by the different domains registered with Skimlinks. As always, your data is sorted by revenue descending. Don't forget your data can be filtered by desktop, tablet, mobile, AMP and non-AMP content. Click the download button at the top of the table to export the data in a CSV file and present it in whichever way is most meaningful to you. If you want to break down your performance by a particular device, hover over the grey funnel icon next to the relevant link, which will give you the option to filter your performance by date, merchant, page, link, device or product. If we filter by device, for example, it will automatically take us in the performance by device report for that specific site. The device report breaks down your performance by device type within the date range selected in the top filter. Our device data is based on the information we capture from your users and is sometimes not available depending on their privacy settings. If any data is unavailable, this is grouped into the unknown row. The bot row refers to non-human scripts or programs that access your site and click on your links. You can use the device report to determine whether desktop, mobile or tablet devices are generating your greatest conversions, so you can optimize your content and website accordingly. If you're interested in knowing exactly which products your readers purchased, click through to the final tab on the right hand side which will launch the performance report by product. The report shows the name of the product that your reader purchased, the merchant who they purchased it from, the affiliate network that this merchant uses for their affiliate program, the SKU of the product, the quantity of that product that was sold, the total order value and the revenue that you will receive in commission from that sale. This report only surfaces sales data from certain networks, which means it does not paint a full picture of every product sale that you have driven. Your readers may have bought products from merchants who use other networks, in which case that product information will not be imported into our system. For this reason, the product report should not be used as a revenue report, but rather as an informative report that helps you understand the types of products that your readers are purchasing. It's also worth noting that revenue data may be delayed to account for any returns or exchanges made by your readers. For the most detailed revenue, revenue reporting, it's better to use our revenue source report. The revenue source report shows you many things. First, you will see links on their pages and how much revenue they are driving. You can sort the table by order value or by revenue which will show you your top performing links and their page. As you can see, there is a tab called Custom ID. With Custom IDs, you are able to tag your website users, your authors, your content verticals, or whichever unique information is most important to you, so that you can filter by which of these drive your greatest revenue. You will need to create these Custom IDs, and once created, you will get even more value out of the Revenue Source Report. To find out more about custom IDs and how to use them, make sure to check out our blog entitled Measure What's Important with Skimlinks Custom IDs. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. To the right of the domain column, you'll notice 10 different UTM columns. To get the most out of the revenue source report, create UTM parameters to label the links that you use in your social paid, social organic, newsletter or display campaigns, for example. This is extremely useful and I recommend that you use UTM parameters for all of your campaigns so that you can track their performance in this report. For example, if you are running an ad on Snapchat, you will be able to see how much revenue your ad is driving and adjust your budget accordingly. You can download this data into a CSV spreadsheet and filter the data as you please. For example, you can filter UTM source by Snapchat or UTM medium by paid social to see the total revenue generated by those channels. The revenue source report is in beta currently and we'd love to receive your feedback on it. Simply click on the send feedback button next to the download button and let us know how we could improve. Let's look at the final report, the real time clicks report. The real-time clicks report is useful for measuring the real-time results of your pages during the day and can give you some early insights on which pages and links are performing well currently. 
The data is updated every 15 minutes and shows you at a glance which of your links and merchants have generated the greatest number of clicks in the last hour, the previous hour, the last three hours, the previous three hours before that, and the last 24 hours. Keep in mind that a link must receive over five clicks in the past 24 hours in order to appear in the report. Also, if you've been looking at the report for some time, make sure to refresh the data to populate the most recent results. Just like the revenue source report, the real-time clicks report is in beta currently and we'd love to receive your feedback on it. Simply click on the send feedback button next to the download button and let us know your thoughts. This brings us to the end of this video. To recap, today we covered how to track your performance by date, merchant, page, link and site, identify your strongest sources of revenue with a revenue source report and spot your trending pages and links with a real-time clicks report. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media and check out our blog for more resources like this one. We're always looking for new ways to help our publishers grow with commerce content, so don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video, letting us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you would like to see more of. Remember that if you ever face any issues or can't find the answer to your question, please reach out to the Skimlinks support team at support.skimlinks.com and we'll get back to you within 24 working hours.